All right, we want to wish a happy birthday to the Cincinnati Bell Connector. The streetcar is marking one year of service in the Queen City. Our team just published several articles about the big milestone on WCPO.com. So we decided to ride the streetcar for a conversation with Pat LaFleur. And Pat, you've written a couple of articles here on the year anniversary of the streetcar. One published this morning about the myths of streetcar transportation. One myth that actually might prove a little true. Sure. So this one always yeah. makes me laugh because it's from a news report from several years ago that suggested it might be quicker just to walk the streetcar loop than to ride the streetcar loop. <laughs> It's a three and a half mile loop. You're not going to be able to walk it faster than a streetcar moving 25 miles an hour is. Yeah. But what sometimes happens is traffic congestion can get so bad downtown sometimes that the streetcar gets stuck in that traffic as well. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're walking from Fountain Square to the banks. It might be quicker to walk, especially during rush hour in the afternoon. Okay, duly noted. Uh, as we look at the year anniversary, Next I'd like to take a look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, for the streetcar. What's the good? So the good is the fact that the Transit Authority and the Transportation Department were able to address a number of technical issues very quickly, or at least they were able to identify them and create a plan to work them out. Um, now the bad would be the fact that those issues arose in the first place. Um, issues like? Issues like ticket vending machines not working properly, display arrival, t or arrival display times not being accurate, um, technical issues with the vehicles. Um, all of these things, the city brought in experts to make sure that nothing like those issues happened, and they did anyway. So I would say that's the bad. Ugly. What's the ugly? It's the politics. Politics surrounding this issue has been, it's been a thing for years, and it's going to be a thing this upcoming election, and I'm not really sure how it's going to play out, but the question of expansion versus sustaining, no one's going to talk about expansion, that's a hot potato, but what they are going to talk about is making sure that this remains a sustainable system, regardless of where it goes. Voters, I think, are going to want to talk about expansion because they want to see it in more neighborhoods, and exactly. I've even heard people say the they'd like to see district. it go to the airport. That's right, yes. So leaders are going to have to address that question eventually, but for now, they're not going to talk about it. So at the year anniversary, is just making sure things run smoothly. Correct. All right, Pat LaFleur, thank you for your yeah. expert knowledge on this subject. And if you'd like to read Pat's stories on the year anniversary of the streetcar, all you have to do is go to WCPO.com.